Uh, my name is Usman Ali, and I'm a senior researcher at University College Dublin. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to present our research work that is residential building energy performance prediction at urban scale uh, using assemble machine learning algorithms. Uh, the goal of our research work is to propose a work workflow that accurately predicts the energy performance of the building at urban scale by using limited available resources and data. Uh, and this research empowering stakeholders like urban planner, energy policy maker, to make informed decisions for long-term renovation strategies and improve building energy performance. So uh, today, my presentation agenda, first I will start with the motivation behind the research, research gap, proposed methodology, and the Irish case study, and finally, I conclude my presentation. As uh, the both presenter, they discuss uh, the challenges with uh, energy calculation and also an urban scale. So most of the main challenges already discussed that uh, we need a lot of information required to calculate the building perform energy performance of individual buildings. Especially in urban scale, we need a lot of information like building envelope, physical characteristics, and heating, cooling environment, and especially equipment behavior as well. That is time-consuming and challenging task. So therefore, uh, there's two common methods. There are more methods, but there are the most famous methods. Uh, the one is physical-based modeling method by using energy simulation engines like Energy Plus, ESP, Transition, and Modelica, or mostly other uh, simulation tools are using. But we need also need a massive amount of uh, geometric and non-geometric data for individual building required. We have another option in data-driven approach that all, both presenters already presented. Uh, we can use the machine learning techniques. And that have a, a, a few uh, prones. We can uh, use limited information and can predict the building energy performance. But we need a high quality data to improve the, uh, calculate the accurate model. So in this research, uh, we combine both of them uh, we will generate a synthetic data by using parametric simulation of building archetypes and also compare machine learning algorithms uh, to uh, develop the accurate model. So uh, the proposed methodology starts with the data collections. Uh, it includes the weather data, the building geometric data, or non-geometric data. And then uh, afterward, we develop the building archetypes. It's a benchmark building we can use uh, in our context. Uh, when we have a benchmark building, that is a baseline model. And this baseline model is used for parametric simulation. Before parametric simulation, we have to define the, which are the parameters we are need for a parametric simulation. So we need a feature selection based on existing study and based on the requirement of the stakeholder. Uh, and parametric simulation, uh, we can use all simulation engines, which we like. So in our case, we are using Energy Plus, and we also use construction templates uh, in our case studies. And finally, when we have the, developed the synthetic data, we applied the machine learning algorithm. In our case, we are also applied in symbol based machine learning algorithm. So in our methodology, we discussed uh, ensemble machine learning modeling. In this approach, this is a, a different approach uh, than the traditional ma machine learning algorithm. Instead of using one algorithm, we combine different uh, algorithms and then predict and also generalize the output prediction by using assemble model. And finally, predict the uh, output. In our case, we predict the energy use intensity, EOI, kilowatt per meter square per year. So we tested uh, 10 algorithms. Some of them algorithm is based on study is why quite famous. Uh, SVM, decision tree, random force forecast, and neural network already is discussed in previous uh, presenter. So we also test the gradient boost algorithm and their different variations. To test the performance of the model, we use root mean square. Uh, we call that is a regression problem. So the focus are root mean square error and R square. And we also use accuracy to check the 
overall uh, building energy rating. For the case study, we applied on Irish buildings. So in our case, we use a Dublin city and semi-detached building architects. This is architect building 3D model you can see. That is architect views in uh, Ireland or semi-detached building. Semi-detached building is uh, present more than 24% of entire uh, Irish building stock. So we developed the synthetic data uh, of around 75,000 buildings by using different key parameters. Here is a list of parameters. Uh, it starts from U building U values, orientation, densities, number of occupants, and renewables, and also uh, window to wall ratio, and energy factor, and electricity factor. Uh, there's eight more 18 uh, uh, key parameters and their variation. And this variation we found in, uh, we have uh, available data APC energy performance certificate data in Ireland, we use this input ranges collect from that data. So it is impossible to simulate all the combination of this variable because a trillion of simulation required. Therefore, we use latent hypercube sampling technique to generate a data set. To validate the 75,000 building, how it look like? Here you can see the energy rating of uh, A1 to G. So data sets show that uh, this cover all the energy rating. So overall, the data set is good for use for modeling training. When we have a data set, uh, synthetic data, then applied different machine learning algorithm. So we test already uh, sort of 10 algorithms. So you can see the, all the variation of gradient boost algorithms as quite good result and very quite uh, low root mean square error. And in terms of accuracy, we convert our EY to energy rating based on the rating is provided here in the graph. This is the Irish official energy rating. Uh, it start from uh, zero to more than to 450 kilowatt per meter square. So A1 is maybe uh, you can say the highest rank and G is poor building performance. So we achieved 86% uh, accuracy in our case. As we know, in the previous researchers, they mostly algorithms, they use quite famous algorithms like neural network, SVM. But in this case study, the gradient boost performed well. So the results show that we should not rely on one algorithm. We should test at least all of the algorithm because the some data set behavior is different based on their, uh, how the noise in the data set and data, data set also have a lot of issues. So we test different algorithms and we can see the gradient boost algorithm perform well in this case. Afterward, we applied the assemble-based techniques. In assemble-based technique, we combine different algorithms. We already show the methodology. So we test two methods. Uh, one is voting and stacking. And we combine top four al uh, algorithms of gradient boost variation. So we improve a little bit, improve uh, in accuracy, also root mean, root mean square error. So we achieve 89%. So 3% accuracy we uh, improve in this case study. So what is, uh, it will be changed depend upon the data set we are using. And finally, uh, I would like to conclude my presentation. In this research, we propose a methodology that predicts building energy performance, even limited knowledge of building dynamics. And parametric simulation helps to generate the data because if we don't have enough data, so we can use this approach. And assemble-based modeling techniques uh, also improve the modeling result. If your algorithm is not performing well, so you can try this approach to combine different algorithms and also generalize your uh, uh, model. So overall, uh, this research helps the policymakers to reduce energy consumption and CO2 emission. So we only tested on energy plus uh, simulation engine, but the, uh, if you use a different algorithm, uh, different simulation engine, that could be, uh, maybe the result could be different. And also, the best algorithm may also differ based on the different case studies and different countries. And uh, for future work, uh, 
we are working on uh, different building archetypes as well climate conditions and different scale level. And we are doing, uh, already did this kind of work and hopefully we will apply for uh, uh, this work for a general paper. So that's all from my side. Thanks for listening to the presentation. If anyone have a question. Thank you.